Hi, I'm Jamie Palmer, online business strategist and simplifier for driven entrepreneurs, service providers, and course creators who want to grow and scale their business online by focusing on one signature program. I am the creator of the Business Ecosystem Builders program where I help you integrate your marketing systems, technology, and mindset so that you can grow and scale your business online all while creating more freedom in your business. In today's video, I am going to share with you my process for batching content. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are an online entrepreneur, service provider, or course creator who wants more online biz ninja tips and marketing tips to grow and scale your business, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Every Tuesday, we put out new videos just like this, so be sure to subscribe. So I started my business as an agency, and one of the services we offered was social media marketing. So I have spent the better part of my career helping people systematize their social media. And so what I'm going to do today is share my process for how I batch create content as an entrepreneur. Watching content is blocking time on your calendar. So one of the most important things is to understand how much time you're going to need to actually create the content. So whether you're recording YouTube videos like this or a podcast or a blog, I highly recommend breaking the process down into two or three different steps. So there's the content ideation process, which is doing the research to determine what topics you're going to talk about and really just thinking about like, hey, what is that high level topic I'm going to speak about? And then there's the part where you outline said content and then there's the part where you actually do the recording of said content. So I always like to say that it usually takes about an hour to an hour and a half to do the research. And anytime I batch, I usually create anywhere between four and eight pieces of content. Uh, it really depends on your stamina and ability to just focus and get things done. Um, if you're just getting started, try doing two or four when you're first getting started. So with that said, if you're doing a content ideation, research, topic creation, block an hour to 90 minutes. This will help you to really just focus on figuring out what topics your ideal client wants to hear from you. And it will also really help you to just have some time on the calendar where you can think about like, hey, is this topic gonna work for me? So 60 to 90 minutes for the content ideation. From there, I usually block about two hours to create all the outlines. You can usually get it done in less, but I always block two hours just to be safe because sometimes it takes me a little bit to get into that writing mode. And then from there, I usually block between two and three hours for the batching process. Now, once I have that all on my calendar, that's when the fun begins. So let me know in the comments what questions you have for me about batching your content. When it comes to the outline for the content, I like to follow the rule of three. So the rule of three is basically you have your intro and your outro and then the bulk or the body of the content, I follow this rule of three. So three high level bullet points and then within each one of those bullets, there's three sub bullets. So high level bullet, three sub bullets, high level bullet, three sub bullets, high level bullet, <laughs> three sub bullets. This rule of three works really good, number one, to keep you on task. And number two, it also ensures that you have this outline so that you don't go off any, you know, off ramps <laughs> when you're in the delivery of your content. And so it can take a bit of getting used to, but it becomes really easy because if you say, you know, each high level bullets, 30 to 45 seconds, and then each one of the sub bullets is, you know, another 30 seconds to a minute. By the time you're done, you've got a perfectly timed 10 to 12 to 14 minute piece of macro content. And it's a really easy formula that I've used for a really long time to get started with bashing content. So once I've got the outline done and 
I'm getting ready to record. I always set everything up first. So I get my tripod set up if I'm doing uh, YouTube videos like this. I'll get my ring, like I get everything set up. I pick out my outfits. I do all of that stuff first and I allocate time for that because the setup piece does derail you from focusing on <laughs> the content delivery. So get all your stuff set up, get your outfits picked out if you're doing it via video and get yourself set up for success. Once you have yourself set up for success, that's when then you get into the process of actually recording the content. And this is where the fun begins. So now that it's time to record, I shut down all my distractions. I turn off my phone, my computer, everything. I let anybody in my life who is a key person know, hey, I'm gonna be recording content for the next two hours, so radio silence, please. <laughs> um, and then from there, it can often take me a little bit to get into recording, whether that's a video or a podcast. Um, but I find that once I get into the zone of recording, it's really easy to stay there. And one tip that I like to do is either tape the outline to right underneath the camera, or I like to take little post-it notes and I have a ring light that I use. You can take the post-it notes and put them around the ring light. You can also do the same where you're doing Facebook Live. And what I do is I take my high level and my sub bullet points and I just write little notes on there so that I do not get distracted or I don't forget what I'm talking about. And it's a really easy way to stay on task inside the content that you're creating. So that is my batch content creation process and how I go through and create content and batch content regularly. So let me know in the comments which one of these pieces of this process that you're gonna implement in your own business. Are you on the social media hamster wheel? Are you tired of posting just a post? Is it 5 p.m. and you're wondering, what is it that I'm gonna to post today? If so, it might be time for you to grab a $47 social media snapshot. Social media snapshots are a three-page, custom to your business action plan to help you get a checkup for your marketing. Head on over to www.socialmediasnapshot.com and grab yours today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I super appreciate you being here. And be sure to let me know that you like this content by commenting or liking below. And of course, sharing with a business bestie. Of course, next week, join us for another online marketing and business tip each and every Tuesday.